Pat, what impressed you most about that display? Ah, look, I suppose, look, look, I, I think, look, our attitude was, was right from the start. Um, our ability to turn over the ball was fantastic. Uh, look, like it's a very good um, Tipperary team. They got a run of us. Their, their puck outs were excellent. Um, I got a lot of scores off that. Got a great goal at the start. And you could hear the tip crow coming after us. But I thought we saw, showed good resilience, um, kept their energy really, really high. And the lads who came off the bench gave us a great lift when they came on, you know. With the goal before half time, would that have been crucial maybe for your guys just to get you up to another level? Ah, yeah, look, 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 anytime you get a score like that before half time is all we won't say it wasn't the boost anyway. But look, I think our fellas were very um, happy where we were at, the, at that game. We were willing it, we were really going after the game, I thought. And um, look, from our point of view, look, um, great performance. Just the challenges then for, for you as a manager from the last game against Limerick, just to get the lads, I know you them back in on Sunday, to get them mentally and physically f fresh for today. Was it any sort of a difficulty for you whatsoever? Uh, no, not really, in fairness. Look, look obviously, we, look, we had um, two performances that we felt that we could have probably played better in, and we are back to the wall. So the lads were delighted after the Limerick performance, gave a great, great confidence in them. But we have a very good strength and conditioning team, very good um, rehabilitation team, and look, the management team, we all did a, did a good job of getting the fellas back. But it was easy. Look, the lads got their heads on the ground again and ready to go. For the past year and a half, Pat, how important was it for you guys to all stick together? Like maybe four championship defeats by a margin of seven points in total. You're never far off the mark and you know you've a long way to go yet but the signs are really, really impressive. You all stuck together. Yeah, look, we did. Look, but look, look I, I think, in fairness, look, the players could see that that, that things were going well, um, that training was going well, that the people that were looking after them were of a high standard. Um, but the people who looked after them the last couple of years were of an extremely high standard as well. Uh, Kieran get left us, Kieran and Dermot, and all the lads left us with a fantastic bunch of players. They were really committed. Um, so look, look, the lads are playing for the jersey. We know how much Cork Hurling means to it. But look, we've two wins. But we're still not qualified, and we have to wait on the results for next week. Uh, last question for you. You made a few changes there a couple of weeks ago, and your subs came on today and had an impact again. Is that what you're looking for now? That competition from, I suppose, outside the 26 to get into the 26, and the competition from the 26 to break into the 15 to keep everybody going at full pelt for the rest of the season? Yeah, exactly. Look, and look, I think from our point of view, look, look, the attitude of the lads that were left off after the Warford game was absolutely top class. Um, look, you're talking about the likes of Damien Callan and Jeremy Melrick and Tommy O'Connell. You know, they've been leading and driving training. Luke Mead came on today. I know he was very disappointed he didn't get a run last week, um, but we saw what Luke can give to us and what the ability they can give to us and uh, look but that's what you need. Thanks Pat. No Thank you. Joe,